Ivy Entertainment, I'm Trevor Gumby. We are David Kyle's show out here at the Coin Mint where money is made. Hey, we are so fancy out here. Vuzu with the bedazzled microphone. My expectations for tonight's show, literally anything and everything. The fact that he can stop the production of money in South Africa means a great deal. So I don't know what to expect. I expect a lot of drama. I expect a lot of frills. I expect a lot of color. Only the way that David knows how to do it. You know, the SA Mins as a venue for a fashion show is, for me, it's quite an oxymoron, but at, at the same time, it obviously makes sense, you know, because it's a very industrial setting. I mean, you look around, there's a lot of machinery, it's big, it smells like grease and oil. Um, so it's very, it's almost unbecoming of fashion because you expect fashion to be something beautiful and glamorous and sparkly. But then, of course, you get the coins and money makes the world go around so it makes complete sense in that aspect it's a beautiful oxymoron and i think that that's exactly what tonight's show is going to be all about why the south african mint company is because uh it's a beautiful collaboration between um the sa mint and david fella because they approached me because they wanted to do a fashion show in the mint and uh so I mean, we all started up toiling around different ideas about inspiration in the direction of the show, and we decided to collaborate with the climate change campaign. That is actually starting tonight at, at the Mint, and uh, we're going to be casting a coin that is going to be traveling the world, that is going to be casted out in, um, in December, and it's, it will be showcased as well in December at, in, in Devon at the Climate Change Conference, World Conference. And also, uh, the other thing is that we had to make some garments out of coins, or made or fused with coins. So that was a beautiful challenge for me as a designer because I love I love challenge. I enjoy doing different things and like really overt things because it's about it's about time that we really expose our talent and our creativity and also collaborate with big brands like SA Mint. <laughs> The actual uh, collection tonight is it's purely a David Lella Spring Summer collection inspired by uh, climate change. We, we're playing around with different colors, very soft uh, silk chiffons um, and uh, silk georgettes. And uh, also, we're taking you on a journey of uh, climate change from how things are dilapidated as of after the fire and the earthquake and, and everything, and into the drought season and into the rainy season, and also definitely into the fashion season, which is current right now. It is uh, spring summer. The colors, they go from orange, bent orange, into like really muddy, murphy um, greens, um, into uh, bright yellows, and beiges and golds and obviously with the coins or the medals as you if, as you may want to call it into silvers mixed fused with green the lace that we used for the for the coined dresses or the outfits is purely inspired by summer because it's very floral but you don't see popping flowers it's flowers that are fused in with coins and chains and um Everything that we're doing tonight is like really, really intense, uh, but it takes you on a journey of understanding climate change in a fashionable way because after all it's said and done, whether we have Katrina, Hurricane or anything else, life goes on, fashion goes on and the brands still stand. Um, I think the scariest thing with walking the ramp um, for a David Kyler show is that you absolutely know he's going to give you the most hideously high heels that you've ever seen in your life. And as you can see, I'm already six foot two, um, and I tend to wear flats all the time. So I think the scariest thing in terms of that for me is um, just wearing really, really high heels. I would say I pray not to fall, basically. Falling, which is, I think, is every model's fear. <laughs> to fall and step in a couple of times, so I'm starting to get the drill of it. Obviously, there's always a hope that you never fall on the on the catwalk, and I never have touch wood, <laughs> um, which I'm very grateful for because I have seen some nasty falls in my in my modern career, but it's never been me. <laughs> Hello, 
David Clyde is amazing to work for. Um, I think he's got this humility about himself. And, um, you know, when you go for fittings at his studio, it's not uh, a drama queen of girls running around. And it's very laid back. It's very chilled. And he has one-on-one -on -one with you. And when you have a fitting with him, he takes time to fit you personally and make sure that you are happy and make sure that he's happy with the way you look in it as well. So it's great. It's great to work with him. I know David, the real person. And he's actually very soft-spoken, very quiet, very calm, you know, gospel music playing in the background and it's it's very humbling and amazing to be able to um, see the way he manages the two different personas and finds balance in his life as well. Behind the scenes, um, I go to church with him so I know that he's a man of God and um, he's a very nice guy like a brother, always chilled. He's one of the designers that are always chilled during his show. You're thinking he's got everything, every duck's in a row. So as a, as a person, I really like him. He's, yeah, he's a good person, so yeah, I like him. My main, my main thing about as being a designer is not about trying too hard to be outdoing other people. I compete with myself. As a designer, you've got to always travel the world and see what the world is doing. And because I always see David Lally as an international brand, not just as a Johannesburg-based hometown designer. I see David Lally through the eyes of the world, and I would like one day to compete with the likes of Dior, your Amanis, and everything else. Thus, we take ourselves into this journey of really doing different things that are daring. By the time we get to the States or to Europe, we are just going to be groundbreaking and like really doing absolutely different things. So I set trends for myself. Those who follow, they follow. Those who copy, they do. But at the end of the day, it's all about it's all about me. I focus on the David Lally essence and the David Lally signature, and also on the David Lally man and woman who wants to look fabulous and powerful and daring at all times.